now you're gonna need help in your last ten fights of the Hades Paradox Cup. Items you'll want to use, you'll want either Fenrir, Ultimate Weapon, or Oblivion as your main weapon. Your other weapons during your forms won't matter because, well, they will for you because you need to get there again. But you'll either want Fenrir, Ultimate Weapon, or Oblivion at your main weapon. Armor, anything that gives defense, even some resistance, fire, blizzard, thunder, dark resistance, I really don't use it anymore, but you probably will need it for some of those fights. Accessories you want, anything that can give strength and magic at the same time. Most of this you're going to get through synthesizing items and anything like that. Maybe you'll find the cosmic charm in the world that never was, but everything else you'll find through synthesization. Items you'll want, if you need to use them, I'd recommend using one elixir, three high potions, and two ethers. That's only me though, you might want to use all high potions, all elixirs, if you've got them, that's great, if not, then just use what I said. AP, you're going to want enough AP so that you can equip all of the items that you're going to want to use. You'll also want all of your growth abilities at level 3. And you'll want a good deal of, of support abilities. As many combo pluses, boosts as you can get. As for your stats, you're not going to be able to get over level 99 because it says next level, zero experience. Strength, you'll want at least 80, defense at least 70, and magic at least 60. I'm not sure if that's what I had at the time, but I've got great stats now. At least I think they could be better. But for now, you'll want 80 strength, 70 defense, magic of 60. And now I will show you the last 10 fights. And because you fight alone, it's a little harder. Actually, it's a lot harder because you also can't use any of your drive forms. You want to start off when there's a lot of enemies using gravity because it'll either kill a lot of them if you've got high enough magic or it'll at least do a lot of damage. first fight you'll want to take out the graveyards first and then go for the toy boxes. Because the graveyards can do a lot more damage. This fight I'd also recommend using gravity in the beginning of it because it'll give off an easy kill for the harder enemies. This one I'd use it also, and take out these things first. Finish off with magic if you can, if they do this, because you can't hit them from the front. Again, I'd start off with gravity for this if you don't get hit. This is going to be an easy fight, you just got to survive. Sometimes Ultimate Weapon is a better choice because of MP Hastaga. It gives, you know, it'll make your magic recharge faster. So, you know, it's up to you. 
if you'd want to sacrifice that one strength for a better ability. This fight's kind of simple. The two hot rods you'll want to use magic on because when you do so much damage to them, they end up attacking you and you can't do damage to them after for a while. Like this right here. Or apparently magic doesn't work. This fight, don't be alarmed, just hurry up and grab it. You don't really need the points, unless you do want the mind weight. But then this is going to happen. So try and take out the big dude first, and then go for these. And then more is going to come. Now the really hard thing about this level is that well, this tournament fight is that everything in here has a lot more HP. And that can make things really annoying. It's not as easy as fighting the stuff out, say, in Hollow Bastion. Because they don't have their natural HP, everything's a lot stronger. and it's going to take longer to kill stuff. Cerberus, yeah, Cerberus is pretty easy. I mean, if you can fight it using dry forms, you can fight it without using dry forms. I'm not sure how long it'll take me to do this, because Cerberus is an annoying fight, and I can only fit 10 minutes of video. And I don't feel like making two videos. But the fight after this, you will fight Leon, Cloud, Tifa, and Yuffie. I've got another fight, if you need help on that battle, you can watch it. It's called Sora space VS space FFVII. I'm not sure if it's a space or if it's an and sign. FFVIII. And then the last fight, you fight Hades alongside with Hercules. That's pretty easy, too. The annoying thing about Cerberus is that it keeps jumping around. And that magic, well, I don't have any right now. But if you get the chance to use the reaction commands, you're going to want to use them because they do a little bit of damage on it. Right here, when you get it low enough, just finish it off with magic. It's a lot quicker. And maybe I will get to kill Final Fantasy VII characters and Leon. If I'm lucky enough. I'd recommend going for y Yuffie first. However, this fight is mass contagious conjunctivitis, so... Just go for whoever you can first. All these people have lower HP than you fought them earlier. Now, if you want to stay alive, you can glide if you don't have magic or any items left over. But uh, otherwise, you will just want to keep on fighting them and keep on going. You try it more times, you'll get it eventually. Even though you're doing it in proud mode and I'm doing it in normal mode. Uh, you know, best advice I can give you is just keep on fighting them, keep on training, and, you know, you'll get it eventually. I hope this helps you out a lot. You know, if you need more help, just message me. 
and you're welcome.